And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Forest Village. Well, we have a nice giant canvas to work with here now. Oh, it took a while, but we got it done. So, uh, first things first, I'm going to save just in case we hit a snag. So, as you can see, the last save was when I was just starting this and now that it's done I want to save it so we have we have the progress so I've uh, cleared and flattened this area I've added a few ramps here and there added one over here as well and it's not done quite yet just to just to give them a you know a path around because um, obviously they can't traverse a cliff like this and in order to get them to move around we need, uh, we need ramps. Anyway, so this little template that I've got, I'd like to just continue that going all the way up into here. Now, uh, let's... How do I want to do this? I've got so much material, like 37,000 wood, 27,000 stone, lots of material. Actually, I'm a little. I'm I'm running a little low on hay. It's amazing. Um, I've been uh, actually trading for hay. It's cheap. I've got lots and lots of like excess wool. So I mean that's something good. And you get. I mean it's pretty good. I mean two fifty gives you nine hundred. So let's do five hundred. Let's do five hundred and one just so we're good with that. Okay, so the first thing, obviously this is going to take a few episodes to actually get get all this built. I think what I want to do first, let's get some roads in. And that should help with this process. What? Why did you, why did you do, what, what, what are you doing? Why don't you like, why didn't you like this spot right here? That was really weird. Are we gonna, are we gonna run into that now, like everywhere? It's able to build there for some reason. It's just, it just doesn't like it. And let's continue this road out. Yeah, we're gonna have our population is going to just go nuts when this is all done so yeah right here is where it kind of gets tricky because uh, I didn't really flatten that properly so I might have to come in and flatten a little bit flatten this out a little bit Let's take this up, like all the way up to here, and flatten this out, and then we can redo that that curve. Do one more square over, and then we can redo this slope and and dial this slope back a little bit, and that will help help with that. So yeah, in the process of doing this, you know, some of it was over over the winter. And I, had, you know, I had a couple of people die of hypothermia because I couldn't get back into their town or their, their house fast enough. And I had to build a I had to build a kiln over here to supply this with some charcoal because this house didn't see it. Couldn't, it couldn't find charcoal, so this house was very, very cold. And so, yeah, we hit a cold snap in the winter, and I had a few people from this house die. That's, that was not good. Uh, okay, so that has been re-flattened. So we're going to use this slope system here. And we're going to come out. Dial this back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Oh, wrong. Wrong tool. 
bolts up, pick the right tool here. And then we have to zoom out a little bit so we can get that, get that going. So right there. So that should pull this back. We might get a little ridge right here. Yeah, we're going to get a little ridge right there. But that's, that's okay. That's okay. So we're going to try to do the same thing right here. See, that pulls that down a little bit. Okay, so now that road should be able to be built going forward. Okay, so let's drag this out. And I want all these roads. I don't know the, the cross-section roads just yet. But I want these main these main roads to come through first. See, this one doesn't have a road going through, but this one has roads all around and through and so let's do a main let's do the main road first. I'm not sure if there's a limit to how much I can click and drag this. So let's Like I said, this is a huge area huge area uh, and then this one is pretty much right on the money I like to do them you know bits at a time that way I'm not I'm not uh, dragging over accidentally okay so this one is this way a little bear Okay, so there's that one, that one, that one, that one. Okay, now we'll be able to figure out the spacing around all of this. Look at all the people coming in. So yeah, we have 465 unemployed people. And I think what I'm going to do, I was looking at uh, looking at our food production. I mean, meat pies has gone crazy. Uh, fruit pies doing pretty well. We actually we basically ran out of fruit. Which was kind of that was kind of amazing, uh, going from thirty-seven thousand fruit, and uh, now we are we're at that limit. So everybody here needs to start farming that up. Look at the people! Yeah, these big jobs like this. I mean, it they are they're working hard, you know. They're, they're doing their part, pulling in a lot of stone in order to build these roads. But once the roads are done, hopefully we'll have a lit, just a little bit faster uh, delivery of resources. Uh, and as I get these houses in, so let's, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause it. Let's get this first row of houses in. And I would like, because I can, I can actually see the land, you know, I can see the squares, and uh, we're early fall, so we're just in about in the winter. And I would like to have them build all of this stuff over the winter. So we're going to flip this one around. Let's get this shrunk in. And this will give me my spacing for my, my uh, other roads. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of houses in here. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be pretty epic what this is gonna do to our population. We might even hit that two thousand mark when this is all said and done. Not a guarantee. But we should be darn close. Okay, we're kind of what how are we going over on the road here did I do this one wrong yes I did indeed do that one wrong so that's why we're paused so I can get this set up right so let's 
squeak that in. Uh, we gotta flip this around. Squeak that in there, squeak it in there. And that should be good right there. Okay, so let's just make sure my line, my red my red squares here are all lined up along this side. And they're all lined up on this side. So that gives me that that spacing. Okay, flip this one back around, squeak that in. How much further? Look at how much. This is going to be more houses. This is going to be like more housing space than I think we have in our entire city already in this in this area. There's going to be a lot, there's going to be so many people. We're going to need a lot of schools to house all these people. Okay, let's get that in there. Holy cow, how many houses is this? I haven't even been keeping track. I like how it randomizes, you know, it, I don't know about randomizes, but it sort of, as you place these, it changes the look. Okay, and perfect, actually, coming out like this, having that doorway on that side. That's actually perfect. Not have planned that better. Okay, that is a lot of houses. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen houses in that row. But that gives me the cross section roads that I can actually put in now. I want this one going across. And then this one coming across right in front of the doorways. And then this one coming across. Let's just keep on, keep with this pattern here. Oh, there's going to be, this is going to be a population explosion and I'm going to need a lot of caravans to move around the food and other stuff. Okay, I think this is the... Oh, we're going we're gonna to deal with this again. Is that what we're going to do? There's something about that terrain right there that the game does not like. Uh, all right, now... Yeah, this this area puts to shame our our original, and this little this little thing almost doubled our population. So this over here, this is going to be crazy amount of population. Uh, all right, and so this is I kind of want to lay those out separately, but now that we know, I can just follow this pattern across here. And across right here. And the next one goes right there. So I'm pretty sure we're going to have to ramp up our food production quite a bit in order to accommodate all of these. All the new people that are going to be moving in on this side. So we're going to need, you know, ramped up 
We might even need another orchard, which would be crazy. That's crazy amount of food. Okay, so I actually do want... Okay, so that kind of interrupts that. I might need to flatten that back out. So let's let's just continue continue it there and then I'll uh, yeah I'll probably have to I'm gonna need to flatten that out so let's just come in here and flatten that out like that okay one thing I want to do before I unpause it I actually want to not build these houses yet So, I want all of the roads that I've placed to be uh -huh. built first. This is so many resources. Just the just logistically trying to get all of these upgraded is going to be it's going to be a challenge. Okay, so that's all of the houses paused, so we can unpause the game again. And there's a whole lot more roads that they can place. Uh, now let's think about what are some of the structures that we're gonna know, we know that we're gonna need in here going forward. We're probably gonna need a barn there. Well, I mean everybody over here is doing just fine. So this barn. Can accommodate that no problem and so that's like one two three blocks away so if we come in with this I think this setup right here this line will be able to use this barn without any problems so that means our other barn or our next barn needs to basically go right in here I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it right here. Ooh, it's really bright, but it's still easier to see. Okay, so I know we need the barn, and that will take care of. This block, this block, this block, this block, and this block, I'm thinking. So we're going to need another one over here, I think. So let's put one, let's plan on having one right in here. assigned to the building we got lots of workers I think I think pausing these really confused the game a little bit or it's just they're they're all being used to build roads and I don't know there there may be no no free guy no free people mm -hmm. available um, you just need this bear has been out here for a while so there's a... Oh, I missed the moose. No, that's an elk. I think. I want to take care of some of these animals. Because I've been, you know... Uh, when I was working on this whole setup... I'm eventually going to have, you know, a bunch of stuff out here. To help protect my people, but for the short term, okay, let's uh, give them a little, little pep in their step there, so yeah, this is a lot of pathfinding for the game, and so there's a, it's a little choppy, just a little choppy, yeah, I would like to get all the houses placed, you know, during summertime, and, oh yeah, see, we're early fall already. Um, hmm. 
So the other things that we're going to need, obviously, are schools. Lots of schools. Let's look at this. Okay, so that range, I can basically put one. See if I can fit one of those bathhouses on the opposite side of the barn. I can. And it's about the exact same size. So we're going to put one there. And we're going to put one out here. Okay, so that takes care of some entertainment, you know, and keeps them clean. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> We're going to need a metric ton of schools back in here. We have a lot of school capacity. I've got a lot of schools built. Oh, and this guy needs to get upgraded. Because these are now, I mean, this is like an overgrown forest now, so there's actually animals spawning in there, and I needed, I needed a little bit of uh, protection. Because uh, you can kind of see when I was, you know, clearing all of this, uh, I had uh, a, f a few people get rabies, and I think it's just a random chance when you happen by an animal that that they get that they pick that up. So I would like a couple schools right in here. Kind of snuggled in between. Let's see if we can fit this in. Okay, I think if I go out like that, I can I can make that work. So oh, see, let's go back. And in one more. There we go. That looks good there. Now I want to flip it around. Place another one over here. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing down here. <clears throat> now do I want it in one block like this over here? Or do I want it on the other side over here? Because now that I know this is good to block, we can we can bring the roads in through that. Hmm. That is a good question. So I've got the population, you know, most of the population on the on the outskirts, and then this middle one is sort of. Oh, there's a, there's a grid. I didn't even see that snap to grid before. But does how how big is it when it do snap to grid? Oh, it actually does, the minimal size. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, I'm this far into the game and I just discovered that. So that's nice. That'll really help with houses. Oh, that's gonna really help with houses. So yeah. It, Oh, that's going to make a huge difference with houses. I'll be able to put those houses down in no time. Okay, so there's a middle there. Let's go with middle there and here. And then since these are schools and such, uh, I want a lot of access. I want a lot of, you know, movement around through here. So I would like a, a healer in here somewhere. And these are set up to allow houses uh, in here. So I can put a house, you know, one on each side. It's spaced that way. But I would like like a big healer, not the village healer. Um, if we look, the village healer only can accommodate three people, whereas one of these big <laughs> places, the healer shop, can do a much, much larger amount. And we have a lot of population in here. So, healer, healer shop. I think it's healer shop. <laughs> healer shop. Because it's a really big building. Really big building. And I think what I'm going to do, let's uh, squeeze this. Oh, I can do, do 
do this in right here. And that gives me a little bit of extra road that I can put in here for, you know, a lot of foot traffic. But behind, behind that, I want some uh, pyres. And pyres are going to be kind of an issue because obviously you can only handle so much. But I think coming in here, let's get it like right to the edge. Here. Oh, it changed right when I placed it. So, municipal and fire. Yeah, I don't know why you would ever use crypts. I mean, they literally can only hold, like, I don't know, five people? I mean, that, that, depending on the population of your city, that would, that would go pretty fast. So I want a well here and here, and I've got a space for another pyre. Just in case we get an outbreak of something, I want some pyres around here because it would spread pretty fast if they were at this healer and they died and we didn't have anything back here. And then other pyres we're going to need to sort of squeak in in various places. I'm really not sure how I'm going to do that with this slope. But that, that takes care of all those middle ones. It would be nice if I could squeak these in all the way down the middle here. Because that would almost perfectly take all of the people in the middle, but that would leave me very little, very awkward amounts of building space in the middle there. Okay, anything else we may need? Okay, bathhouse is done, school is done, um, dealer is done, we got some pyres in there, we're gonna need some more. I started putting them along the outside here next to the, uh, next to the watchtowers, so that is something I can do pretty easily. Uh, so we can probably get some more watchtowers going. Uh, I think I think a pattern like every two. So I'll put another one here. Oh, there's another. See another bear is coming in, and I don't want a whole lot of animals getting in here because they might uh, mess me up a little bit. Might have another outbreak of something. Okay, so that's two. And then we have basically one, two there. Put another one here. Let's double check how this... Okay, I just wanted to make sure. Put these in right. Right here. And another two. Right there. Another two, that's two, yeah, basically, right there. And once those are done and upgraded and happy, okay, hmm. where are you going? You're carrying a resource. Before you do that, let's, can we take care of this bear, please? I don't know where he came from, but not want him lingering around. Okay. Put a pep in their step again. All right. We have a lot, a lot of construction going on right now. And we are early fall. It's like we have a fog rolling in. How is our harvest coming? Um, can we, can we please harvest everything that we can get out of this? Yeah, see, they like, harvest mm -hmm. one tree, and then they leave. It's like, there's a lot of trees in there we can harvest. We need to, need to jump on that. All right, so far, nobody's... We haven't had anybody die of anything, which is 
always a positive thing. Uh, for some reason, yeah, my all my builders. Ooh, max the number of people. I want to. We have so many potential people to build. I want to just just continually ramping that up. For some reason, it's just not taking it. I don't know why. So there's a pyre there that gets me these houses. Is there another pyre of potential over here? Yeah, see there's not really space. I would have to go in and flatten a little space out for that to work. Unfortunately, none of these crossroads meet up perfectly with with one in here. So I might, I'm going to need some more vegetables for vegetable pies. So I might destroy this. In fact, let's do that. Um, I'm going to dismantle that. I can always build it later because I want to bring this road right here. I want to bring this up and meet it up with this. Okay, so let's uh, try build a road up, up the hill. We're gonna go right into the the healer here. Oh, we're starting to get hard to hard to see. I'm hoping as soon as a lot of these are done. But these are all paws, and I think that's where it scooped up a lot of my workers. I think. It's not saying that there's any workers associated with it. Okay, they finally they finally were assigned workers. Okay. So some of these haven't been yet. And the watchtowers haven't. And that will give me like a nice protective barrier going into the the main population, just in case. Just in case I get uh, raiders coming in over here. But that'll have to do it for this episode. And I thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.